to framing, there's so many things you can do with this. So I'll show you the first application. So the first application is if his hands are up, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna touch this hand. Now as soon as I touch this hand, he's not gonna worry ab about, about that other hand. So what I'm gonna do, boom, he'll just come, come right up here. Okay, so I'm just gonna enter, boom. And you see Muay Thai guys do that all the time, uh, inside clinch fighting, it, it, it happens. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna basically, you know, come in here, hit up here. Now the, the kata movement is basically a downward shot. You can do a grappling option, okay? I can come up here, and as soon as I move this, then I've got the back movement to take down, okay? And I've got all this. I'll just show you some options. So the idea is, the main idea is basically off of this movement here, okay? See, the way I'm thinking is, this is just the alphabet, right? You gotta make words out of it. So can you all look at the idea? So you're, I'm not worried about the kick right now, I'm just looking at the hand movements. So this is coming down, and this is coming up, right? Now this. Down and up, so that down and up motion, push pull, okay, can be an uppercut here, can be uppercut. I can use this downward motion as a frame. Now, if you look at, hands up if you've heard of uh, Floyd Mayweather. He's a very famous boxer, okay? And he uses, and uh, Lomachenko too. He, he uses clinch, clinch fighting, so. So you're hitting, hitting, and hitting, right? And that's that motion. That's that motion, right? So I'm gonna, I want you guys to try it, just with your partner. Go slow, so you're gonna trap this hand. It doesn't matter which, which, which feet you, you have. Just trap that lead hand, okay? So if this hand's here, trap that lead hand and come right up in the center. Yeah, now see, if he, no, no, that's good. If he does that, that even gives me more, more ammunition. He's giving me momentum to move that. You see what I'm saying? Because as soon as he traps that hand, right? He, he, yeah, see, I, He's pushing this hand into this hand here, right? And I've got, I've got all, of, all of these lines here, okay? I like to, one thing I like to do is I like to slap, I'm not gonna do it, but I hit this, boom, there's a ballistic. There's a couple of sections here, you hit right here, it's a splash, boom, grab the D. And kick this and then go back. And you've got all these. Hands are up, we're gonna go trap, elbow, yeah. And then you think of that kata move, so you're coming down, you're pinning this hand, it can be an elbow pick, it can be a pin, okay, it can be a removal, and then you've got the leg, you can do singles, you can go in for grappling. I wanna see you guys play with this. You guys are very skilled, so I wanna see you guys just use, you, it's, I like to call these things entries. So from here, boom, from here, you just got this. Go for striking, if you feel more comfortable with grappling, you know, you can shoot into the body, yeah. do all your things, whatever you like. So, up, down, you can hit, whatever. The whole, whole point is that. Hey guys, so there you have it. Some applications from the Pukekata Ni, where you take it from the Chudan, you do the elbow block, the Gedan, right? Um, I love that movement. When I take a look at these things, I look at concepts and uh, how, where are the hands moving. So from that chudan, as you bring it down to chamber, this hand comes up. I use that as a lead hand trap and split entry, basically. Got inspired by a lot of Muay Thai players and uh, boxers, for instance. Uh, these kind of combat sports gives you a lot of insight into what you can and can't do at certain ranges. Fighters like Floyd Mayweather and uh, Lomachenko love to lead hand and rear hand trap and 
attack the center line. If you take a look at some of their fights, they're they're masters at these things. Floyd, for example, loves to use the, the frame. And framing framing when fighting is is an art in itself. A lot of full contact fighters, uh, like Kyokushin fighters, for example, use framing. And just recently, when I came back from uh, Germany, uh, Sensei uh, uh, Jürgen Haller uh, showed us, uh, you know, in, in his workshops how to frame and and things like that. So um, my eyes are opening up to all these different combative and sportive ways of of using tools right and it doesn't matter whether it's coming from a sport or, or whatnot if you can insert it into your game and make it useful at a particular range hey if it works it works anyway guys thanks for watching chris hansen signing out don't forget to treat each other with kindness and respect and please like and subscribe and click on that notification bell uh, to stay updated one love guys peace see you next time